This is the Proton Mail review. So let's get into it. We'll go through the pros first and move to the cons later. The first benefit of Proton Mail is that it's end to end encrypted, which means that the emails in your inbox are fully encrypted and not even the Proton company can read them. And even though it wasn't encrypted, Proton is Swiss best where we find strict privacy laws. Now there's an issue with this system and we'll get there in a few seconds. But let's talk about the no ads feature. Proton Mail is ad free so you don't see any ads which is something you don't find on other clients. Third, Proton Mail has amazing themes that give it a completely different look. Yes, you find the dark theme on many email clients, but Proton Mail goes one step further and gives you some amazing options. Fourth, with Proton Mail, you can send password protected encrypted emails and set expiry dates. The password protection feature lets you set a password and those emails are not delivered to the recipient's address. Instead, Proton creates a link which is delivered to the recipient's inbox. The user must open the link and insert the password. Also, you can set expiry dates for emails. After the expiry, the emails are deleted from the recipient's inbox automatically. Lastly, one Proton account gives you access to mail, VPN, calendar and online storage. So if one of those reasons is stopping you from moving to Proton, it has those features. Alright, so we talked about the pros. Let's move to the cons now. The first one is that Proton Mail is great, but it's hard to organize your inbox. Email clients like Gmail and Outlook separate emails in folders, but Proton Mail by default saves all emails to the inbox. You can create folders, which is a great feature, but you must move emails to those folders yourself to organize your inbox. Second, remember I talked about end to end encryption. Now end to end is great for online storage or VPN, but for emails, it does not play an important role. If you receive emails from a third party server, it means that the email has been on their server. Similarly, if you send a normal email, the email goes from Proton Mail to a different server, which is not in Proton's control. The only way this end to end feature works is that both clients are end to end encrypted, which is hard to find these days. Thirdly, Proton Mail gave customers data to the authorities and because of that it faced criticism. Now it's not Proton's fault because if authorities want something, they don't have much choice. But with that, the whole purpose of privacy first and end to end encryption just vanishes. On the same note, Proton Mail has said that the company gets thousands of requests from authorities every year and they do everything in their power not to track users data and give it to authorities. The last disadvantage of Proton Mail for businesses is that it's hard to connect it with third party clients. You install another tool called Bridge. Also, I have a WordPress website and I tried 10 times to connect Proton Mail with my website, but no luck. All right, so should you get Proton Mail? If you're looking for an end to end email provider, Proton Mail can't do that. However, it's better than many email clients. It's encrypted, ad free, and has many themes. And if you're looking for those features, you must try Proton Mail. But before you do, there are some limitations in its free plan. It only gives you one gigabyte of storage and you can send 150 messages daily. Anyway, this is all for Proton Mail review. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think of Proton Mail in the comments and take care.